Hello Disney friends, it's Mia and we're here today at We're here to go into World of Disney because today is Disney Shopping Day Monday. Let's see what's new at World of Disney. Come with us. Oh, we're not only going to go here, folks. We are going um, to walk around. Ricky's going to go have his photo taken because we hear there's a special photo here at Disney Springs. So we're going to go check that out. And maybe we'll get a snack. But mostly it's shopping. So if you like shopping, if you like Disney shopping, come on, let's go. By the way, if you're new here, welcome to our channel. And if you're not new here, welcome back to our channel. Let's go. First thing we see when we walk in is there's a new pride collection. At least this is new to us. We didn't see this last time we were here. Here's a tumbler. And let's see. Price on the tumbler is how much, Rick? Twenty-four ninety-nine. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Okay, for twenty-nine ninety-nine, there's this beautiful Mickey towel in rainbow colors. And okay, this one here is a special lounge fly created for Pride, and it says Pride on it. And it has all the colors here of the rainbow. And let's see, how much is this bag? Ricky, come on. $75? Okay. It's pretty good bag. Ears pretty sturdy. Yeah. They have some pride pins. Or silver color I don't know how much silver is maybe $9.99 I'm not sure and then here is the yellow color I don't really know how much yellow is but here's another pride pin um, what does it say on it Rick what does that say what does it say what does it say here be one, be one, be Okay, be long, be lead, be proud. That's what it says. <coughs> and right here is, are some bracelets. Actually, this is actually cute. Very cute. And a necklace. And here is a keychain. Nineteen ninety-nine is the necklace. Twenty-four ninety-nine for the bracelet. Here's a new pair of lounge fly ears with the park icons. And this one. Ricky, how much is the uh, lounge fly ears? $39.99. Now, whoever was putting these ears together must have been drunk because I tell you, it's cockeyed. Look at the bow. Look at the bow, people. It's off to the side. It's not even in the middle. Yeah. Come on, quality control, Disney quality control. It's not only one pair that's like that. This is another pair. It's off to the side as well. I don't know, but I like my bow in the middle unless, unless the bow is meant to be on the side. Really, don't you guys think? You're gonna pay $39.99. Don't you want your ears to be perfect for that price? Just saying. It's Disney. What do you expect, right? You're supposed to expect something better quality, right? At least that's what I expect. I've been on Disney's case lately about this. Hopefully one day they'll watch and they'll start to take note. No, they know this is going on. They do. Because cast members know what's going on, so what are you going to do? I guess they just hope you just buy it and don't notice. Just be careful though, when you're looking for that, that's a little tip. Check out the item you purchase, because you can find one or two that are perfect. Pick out your item, and then get your money's worth. Here is a bean bag of Lady from Lady and the Tramp. 
it's really cute it's a really cute bean bag and the bean bag is $29.99 t-shirt here is new let's see how much Mickey is Mickey in yellow in a tux is $24.99 another new t-shirt for kids and this one is Mickey in the castle and Mickey in the castle is $19.99 here is a new Mickey hat. It's in pink and it's sparkly. How pretty is this? And it has some purple on the bottom, some lavender. Let's see how much this hat is. $29.99. And it's in adult sizing. Here's another tumbler. It's Mickey. It's really cute. Look at this. It's tie-dye. This looks like it has a hidden Mickey on it. Um, how much is the tumbler, Ricky? $27.99. $27.99 for the Mickey Tumbler. If you're looking for the Turning Red gang, well, here they are. Mei Mei and her friends. Uh, let's see. Mei Ling Lee, Miriam, Priya, and Abby. Abby, Mei Lee, Mei Lin Lee. <laughs> Miriam and Priya. They are $16.99 each. Bean bag root. You know, these are pretty heavy. They're really cute. Would look cute in a child's room, a little baby's room. So soft. Let me see. Baby Groot is $29.99 for Baby Groot bean bag. Just found this Stitch Lounge Fly backpack. It's flying off the shelves. It has a pocket in the front, unzipped. On the side, it has its pockets. And in the back, there's nothing. Inside the bag, it's just printed with flowers. There is no inside pocket. And look how cool this is. Stitch goes up and down, up and down. Really, really cool backpack. And Ricky, how much is Stitch? $85 for Stitch. They're not Havaianas, but they're Disney flip-flops. Just in case you forget yours or you want to pick these up, these are Mickey and Minnie flip-flops for $14.99. And Mickey and Minnie flip-flops also $14.99. Pink and black. And black and red. Here's a new Stitch fan. I haven't seen this one for $12.99. seen this new hoodie. This is really cute with the castle and the rainbow. Um, this one is $44.99. It actually is not a rainbow. It's just light coming from the castle. Here's some new Crocs with Minnie on it. And let's see, how much are the Crocs? $59.99 for the Crocs. Found this jersey. This is new. Well, I haven't seen it before. Walt Disney World 50th in gold. Ricky, you want to hold this? On the back, it says Walt Disney World. And it has Mickey on it, all in gold. Here is a Mickey cap. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Just Mickey on it with the gold. It's gorgeous. Let's see how much the the cap is. Oh, gold hardware. And the hat is $29.99. These leggings remind me of my disco days. I was a little young then, but yeah, my disco days. And it's $44.99. They look like satin pants. Uh, leggings. And they have Mickey on them. Cute. I would not wear them. Because you know why? They would not look good on me. That's why. Here is Marvel in rainbow colors. The Lounge Fly Rainbow Marvel is how much, Rick? $75. Marble hoodie is. Let's see if we can find a pride. Oh, it is pride. Okay. So it is $59.99 for the hoodie. 
Pride merchandise. Star Wars right here. And the shirt is $59.99. It is a Star Wars Be Proud jersey. Believe, belong, be proud. And it says Star Wars on the back. And once again, I do not know the price because for some reason Disney takes the cuts the tags off, or maybe they come in like this. I don't know. Just don't know the price. Four ninety nine for this Doctor Strange T-shirt, only in size large. V neck, low in the jar. Doctor Strange T-shirt. Multiverse of Madness. On the back, you see there's Doctor Strange and the other characters. And I really have to see this movie at some point. Um, the price on the T-shirt is thirty six ninety. Here's the Doctor Strange cap. Four. $29.99 Doctor Strange action figurine. And the figurine is, price is probably on the bottom, $54.99 for Doctor Strange. This is a Marvel Lounge Fly backpack. I haven't seen this one. So it must be new, maybe. Or maybe not. This one's $85. Here is an expandable lightsaber. Here's the green one. And it says, try me, and then you slide the button down, and nothing comes out. <laughs> um, slide button down, flick wrist to extend blade. Uh, flick wrist. Oh, there it is. There you go. And let's see, this one is $16.99. This one's for kids. It's cute, though. The blue one, here we go. There's the blue one. I like this jersey, the Star Wars jersey. I like it. It's very simple. Uh, let's see what the back looks like. It's nice. A long time ago in a galaxy far away. Far, far away. Here's the other far. Nice. Let's see if they left the price on this one. Oh, they did. $74.99. These are some funky colors. It says Rebel Leader. It's a bucket hat. But the color, wow. It's like a teal green. Interesting. The bucket hat is $39.99. This long sleeve tee is, let's see if I can find the price on this. Oh yes, here it is, $44.99. And this jersey, this Rebel Leader jersey, and we'll take a look at the back in a minute, is $74.99. The back says, may the force be with us. Interesting. It's kind of tropical looking to me. Wear this to the Polynesian, I guess, or to Hawaii. The little rebel outfit, but it's nice. I myself prefer the traditional Star Wars, so not for me, but still nice. I'm gonna be stopping here at this churro stand. Sunshine churros. Let's check out and see what kind of churro Ricky wants. Ricky, what kind of churro do you want? They have fruity pebbles, apple pie. French toast. Which one do you want? Cheesecake? Which one? Cheesecake. Which one do you want? You want the French toast one? Okay. Look here. The uh, gourmet churros are $7.95 and the classic churros are $6.95. Hey, okay, Rick, what you got there? What is it? French toast churro? Okay. Let's take a look at it. It's a messy one. It comes with maple syrup, but Ricky chose the cream cheese frosting. of it. Thumbs up or down? Thumbs up? All the way up. Okay. <laughs> cool, Ricky. <gasps> Want to try some with the cream cheese frosting? Cream okay. cheese frosting. Go ahead. Try some. 
What do you think? No cream cheese, right? You, you like it? You like it plain? Yeah, me too. Cream cheese frosting doesn't really taste like cream cheese. It tastes like sugar is what it tastes like. So really, in our opinion, unless you get something else with it, plain churro is the best. I'm gonna try and let you know because um, everybody likes to say that Walt Disney World churros are stale and Disneyland's are better. But I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know. Sometimes they are stale at the parks, but here at the cart, it's not stale at all. It's actually real yummy. Mm-hmm. It's really good. As far as the frosting, mm -mm. frosting gets a thumbs down. But the churro, thumbs up. Mm -hmm. It's really good. All right, we're go heading into uh, Photo Pass now because I hear there's a special uh, Photo Pass that they have here at Disney Springs. So let's go check it out. The photo that was taken is very strange. That's the hint. Here you go. Wait for it. A shop Harvey's tote spotted here at Market Co-op. Let's see how much the Harvey's is. Hey Ricky, you want to help? Oh, look at this. Look at the keychain detail on the bag. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So. Here's the Shop Harvey's tag for Disney Parks. And on the back it says Vault Collection 50th. And then, uh, oh, so cute. Let's see how much it is. How much is this bag? Oh, Ricky, how much is the bag? Right here, bud. $218. $218. That's right, Ricky. Here's the inside. Harvey's, they make beautiful uh, bags. They're a little heavy, but they're beautiful. And they're durable. So the inside just has the Walt Disney World logo and a zipper pocket. Let's see what's on the other side of the bag. The inside of the bag, um, there are two compartments. The color of the bag is a light lavender, lavendery gray, and a purple, like a purple grape color. It's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. This is the cutest Boo Honey Pot I've seen. This would look adorable in a kitchen. And it says, be happy. And it comes with these um, three spoons, wooden spoons. So the price on the honey pot is $34.99. Very creepy Madame Leota mug. And it's $19.99. It's really creepy looking. I mean, they look like little doll faces, but they're really creepy. I don't know who the artist is um, that did this. Let me see, I'll find Here's out. Here's the name of the artist, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. All in all, that mug is pretty cool. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool looking. It'll work well at Halloween time, especially at Halloween time. Let me tell you a story. I used to be a doll collector. I don't have my dolls anymore because I gave them away to nieces and my mother-in-law and an aunt of mine that wanted my dolls. Anyway, but I had a friend, but she would go to my house and I would show her my dolls. It would freak her out. She said they are creepy and I don't like them <laughs> because I had a huge one. It was, well, she was about here tall this is tall and uh, my friend would just be like that is so creepy you got to get that thing away from me yeah well, anyway it's just a doll really traders let's go see if there's anything new here maybe they got the new magic bands i don't know let's go check it out magic band will not be released for another few weeks the cast members aren't even trained on it so they're going to get trained on it first and then they're going to release the magic band or re-release the magic bands we're heading to town center now because we hear there is a new release from Vera Bradley. It's Disney Star Wars. So we're gonna go over there and check it out. We're just in the Joe Malone store because I'm looking for a fragrance and since I have high allergies, 
um, I have to watch what I put on my skin. So Jo Malone, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of Jo Malone, has really good fragrances. They don't seem to affect me much, but I did get a few samples, some for the limited edition, and I'm gonna try them and see how I do. And then I'll let you guys know if I found a fragrance for me. If you guys know of a good fragrance, mention one. Let me know what you guys wear or what you guys recommend. And if you have the allergies, how do you react to certain fragrances? Okay, we found the Vera Bradley Star Wars Collection. Wow, they have everything. They even have a robe. Liking this toe with R2-D2 and Princess Leia. have the prices on them people so we're just gonna kind of take a quick look of what they have here's a crossbody I like these bags right here I've never purchased one that you wear across your body or you can wear in the back too it's like a backpack or like a side fanny pack I like them I have never purchased one before here is another crossbody and right here it's a keychain and a coin purse, or you can put your lipstick in there. Princess Leia, and then you have one of Darth Vader. You even have a Vera Bradley t-shirt. This is so nice, the Star Wars t-shirt. I'm loving this with the flowers. It looks gorgeous. Princess Leia. And it says, I don't need saving. Um, and then you have some loungewear pants. Here are the larger backpacks. And when I do say large, they are large. And then you have your travel or weekend bags. Here's a nice shopping bag by Vera Bradley. This shouldn't cost very much at all. Here are your little uh, coin purses or your little um, card holders. I think this one is really nice. I like the Yoda one. The Princess Leia one is great. Great. Love that. And then right here, you have the print that are on the larger bags. Here's your wristlet bag. On the outside, you can put your cell phone or maybe your sunglasses. If you want sunglasses, actually more like reading glasses. I don't know if your sunglasses would fit. We'll test that in a minute. But inside, it's just a card holder. A lot of compartments. So sunglasses do fit here really nicely. Or like I said, or your cell phone. And you can carry this around as a wristlet. And then there, here's your ID holder. This is really cool because if you go on vacation, you can put all your toiletries in here and it's $90. Good, thank you. And here is a Star Wars lunchbox. And this is really cool because it, it is huge. It's actually pretty big. You can fit your lunch in it or you can fit just like some water, bottled waters or drinks or energy drinks. There's so many items here for Star Wars. I am really surprised. Look at this bag. Can you wear it as a backpack as well? As well as a purse. Even a crossbody. This is so cool. Okay, you guys, we're going to wrap this up right here. I hope you like shopping with us on this warm Monday. It's supposed to get pretty hot here this week in the 90s mid 90s and up um, so today was the coolest day that we picked out for shopping it's not that bad really it's not that bad um, I hope you enjoyed what we found today for you guys um, I hope you enjoy our video I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us because we sure enjoyed hanging out with you and we'll see you in the next vlog real soon. Bye everybody, bye.